fucking here, they're fucking there, and you're like, oh, oh shit, there's two of them and I'm alone. <clears throat> Begin fighting me. So the first thing I want to do, boys, is I want to establish which one hits harder, all right? For me, that's going to be a Braxis, so I'm going to prioritize carrying him. <clears throat> Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to notice who's more aggressive and who's <clears throat> more passive. In this scenario, Bra Braxis is a lot more passive, and honestly, my less concern. Now, that said, he's also the bigger <clears throat> weapon, right? So that, that's really good for me. <clears throat> so that means I'm focusing ultimate for the most part, and I'm going to use Braxis for damage. Now, noticing what I'm doing, I'm hugging the wall, ter using terrain, and anytime they get to either side of me, I go through, I take a parry, and I punish. You go through, you take a parry, and you punish. That simple. Put them on the same side, use that fear. Look at a Braxis. <clears throat> And again, it doesn't matter because they're not communicating, right? And it, even if they are communicating, again, you take one pair, you go through, and that's it. They cannot go defensive, and I'll show you why. If Abraxas goes defensive and starts to pair or starts to try to bandage, what can I do? I can just punish. Don't do. So in this scenario, I'm actually putting more pressure on them as a team, and I'm going to make them panic more. Because why? Your teammate's killing you, and he's not telling you to stop. You see what I'm saying? And it's that simple, boys. See, you keep them on the same front. Never keep them on either side of you. Always have them on the same side. If you lose track of one, you're doing it wrong. Keep track of both at all times. Take a parry from one, punish the other. It's that simple. They're trying right now. Obviously, they're being quiet because I'm in the comms and I'm explaining. But even if they were talking to each other, this is how I would play it and this is how I do. I've eliminated one and now from this point on, it's a 1v1. And that's, that's how you do it, boys. Um, it, you just add on. If there's three, you do the same thing. You, you, you keep them on the same front. Make sure they cannot sneak an attack on you. You use a parry and you attack. You stay defensive and you do damage. That's how you do it, boys. Some walk through them to... Walk through them. That's how you said it. New players may not know about the counter reduce system and how it works. Yeah, so everyone else can explain all the minor mechanics. I was just showing yeah, them. Yeah, so, so we'll group everyone up and then everyone can go through the the minor stuff. Uh, all inexperienced players against the northwest wall. Does anyone have any questions right off the rip on the larger scale of things for me? Yo, Dak, come back, bro. When you say walk through them, you just literally mean walk Yeah, but Dak shit, walk. though. <laughs> yeah, so again. <laughs> <clears throat> so, I'm looking at all of you, right? Look at Potato Peeler, right? Literally, right? If I were to fight all of you right now by myself, right? right. The second one of you gets behind me and I, I no longer have control, I'm going to run through you. I'm going to run through the whole group. I'll because... All turns, so with, they're on their side. Right, because what happens is when they're surrounding you, they're going to go for an attack, right? right? You can't see it. So, instead of letting him hit me in the back, I better run through, parry the guy in front of me, have the chance of the guy behind me hitting the, his friend and then the best part is i get to turn around and hit the guy that was trying to flank me and it kind of just gives them an upset kind of surprises them you know what i mean right and it just gotcha. always puts you on the upper hand following so the time they're going to be so bloodthirsty to kill that one person they're right. going to hit their own guys two remember or three times. they're thinking this is an easy 2v1 and then before you know it uh, you saw that be within five swings that i did i took one of the guys out just through the parry 